Ever wondered why India, one of the world's biggest air powers, doesn't fly any American fighter jets, like the F-16 or the F-35? Despite stronger U.S.-India relations, there's still no American aircraft in the Indian Air Force. In this video, we'll explore the history, politics, and strategy behind that decision. Let's dive in. After independence, India inherited British jets like the Vampire and Hunter. But after the 1962 war with China and conflicts with Pakistan, things changed fast. During the Cold War, the U.S. sided with Pakistan, supplying them with F-86 and F-104, and later imposed arms embargoes on both nations. That left India stranded. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union stepped in with reliable offers, the MiG-21, MiG-23, and later Su-30, no political strings attached. The trust built then still defines India's defense choices today. Even today, geopolitics drives the decisions. The U.S. continues to support Pakistan's F-16 fleet, even approving upgrades in 2025. India still remembers how sanctions followed its 1998 nuclear tests. Then there's IDER, U.S. export control laws that can free spare parts or tech transfers overnight. For India, facing two nuclear-armed neighbors, that's simply too risky. It wants partners who won't dictate terms in times of crisis. India's defense policy now revolves around make in India. That means building and owning technology, not just buying it. Russia and France offer deep tech transfers. India builds SU-30 MKI in Nashik and Rafal in collaboration with Dassault. But the U.S. prefers limited sharing. Lockheed Martin's proposed F-21 is basically a rebranded F-16, with production in India but restricted access to core tech. Even the GE engine deal for Tejas faced years of delay over transfer terms. India wants control, not dependency. Then comes logistics. Around 70% of India's fighter fleet is Russian origin, with a growing French presence. Introducing U.S. fighters would mean completely new maintenance systems, spare chains, and training pipelines, none compatible with existing platforms. Plus, single-engine fighters like the F-35 face performance limits in high-altitude Himalayan bases, where India confronts China's J-20. Compatibility and practicality both matter. Then there's the cost factor. An F-35 costs over $100 million per jet, plus expensive lifetime support. With a defense budget near $75 billion, India is focusing that money on self-reliance, upgrading Tejas, developing the twin-engine Amca stealth fighter, and expanding local manufacturing. The delays in U.S. engine deliveries only reinforce why India wants to master its own technology, instead of relying on foreign supply chains. Today, India's 31 fighter squadrons operate Su-30 MKI, Rafal, Mirage 2000, and Tejas jets, but no American fighters. In 2025, the U.S. offered F-35 to India during high-level talks, but New Delhi declined, citing autonomy and Russian cooperation. The ongoing MRFA tender for 114 jets still lists the F-21 and F-A-18, but France Rafale remains the favorite, while Russia pushes co-production of the Su-57. So why does an India use American jets? It boils down to trust, control, and independence. India is building an air force that answers only to itself, not to any foreign policy shift. What do you think? Should India ever consider U.S. fighters in the future? Drop your thoughts below, hit that like button, and subscribe for more deep dives into global military aviation.